Hey guys, welcome back to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. My name's John Ost. Most people simply call me Toast. Uh, one of the things we've been doing lately is uh, testing out different types of braids to see if their breaking strength is really anywhere near what the manufacturer says it should be. And this is one I just got in the mail. I actually got it yesterday. Just get a chance now. It's pouring down rain outside to do a little bit of testing on it. But it's one that a lot of you guys asked us to order and asked us to review. So let's open this up and see if this one's worth the $3.98 we paid for it. So guys, I just got this package in the mail yesterday. I looked at it, I could tell it's a little spool of fishing line. Uh, we've done a whole bunch of different braid tests already. We got more of them coming to you. They've been really, really, really popular. Uh, some surprising results too. But anyway, I got this one in the mail. Uh, it's one that a bunch of you guys asked us to uh, take a look at. And if I can get it out of here. It's really snug. Pretty well packaged. So it's Cast King Super Power Braided Line. I got this off of eBay. Mailed directly to me. Uh, this came from Jersey, so it's just down the road a little ways. Uh, I'll put a link up down below. I'm going to go over what the link says. But I purchased it off eBay. I got this, as I mentioned, $3.98. Not bad. It's 20 pound braid. It's 150 yards. So it's a a little bit more, but not much more than a lot of the really cheap Chinese braids that I've ordered. Uh, it's got a name brand on it that a lot of people like. Uh, a lot of the stuff's made overseas, probably in the same place, but I'm not really sure anyway. I don't really know that much about the manufacturing side of it. But uh, this actually is 150 so it's actually got more on it than a lot of those cheap ones do. So it's really no more expensive. It's not bad. But uh, it's listed for $3.98. Uh, location, Garden City, New York. It uh, has a whole bunch of different uh, pound tests on it. Uh, I, again, picked the 20 pound, but it's all sorts of different uh, capac line, line capacities to it. They've got gray and green. Um, like I said, I've heard some pretty good stuff by, about this one. This one is actually listed by Cast King. It came directly from them. Uh, they have a 99.7% feedback, which isn't perfect, but it's pretty darn good, especially compared to a lot of the really cheap stuff on eBay for fishing. Uh, it's got a whole lot of different specs on here and background. It's got a nice description on it. Uh, it does talk about some, uh, you know, like the length and diameters and types and colors and all that stuff. It's got a lot, a lot of detail, a lot of background on it. Uh, advantages. Um, has some photos of it from ac of action photos and things from uh, some of their uh, customers in the past and a bunch of reviews. It's a lot of stuff on this eBay page for them. So it's really a pretty inviting looking listing. So not bad. So this came really quickly. Like I said, it's only a couple hour drive from here anyway. But uh, the packaging, it looks pretty nice too. Cast King uh, Super Power Braided Line. It's listed on here as Cast King Super Power Braided Fishing Line Abrasion and Resistant Braided Lines. So, anyway, nice packaging, kind of a kind of matte finish on it, not really flashy, uh, but it looks pretty good. It's got a lot of details to it on the packaging. Uh, I opened up a little while ago, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, it has a cool little card in it. So it's got the, the spool. Nice. Uh, it's got a little card in here talking about if you're happy or not happy. And it's got the link here for uh, YouTube and Facebook and you know Instagram. So you can actually put up comments and they ask for some feedback on it. That's a nice little touch. I mean, not much to it, but just to put a little card in there. Again, it's a nice touch. So when you look at the packaging, you have a hole on the side and you can actually see the spool. So taking a look at it, we're going to do a little test here. I've got the uh, scale and everything out here with it. Uh, this, let's see, so again, uh, 20 pounds, got some quality control test sticker on it. Uh, looking at it, and of course I live right across the street in a church, so we hear the bells all the time. That's one of the reasons we love this place, it's a great house. Um, taking a look at it, um, it's not a really smooth finish, it is really kind of a round feeling braid, I like that. Uh, pretty pretty darn similar feel and look to uh, 
Power Pro with it. Uh, taking a look at it here. Trying to see if it'll fray at all. Cuts pretty well. It doesn't, it's not really fraying, so I think it's pretty bad, pretty nice. I mean, not bad at all. So the feel and texture of it feels pretty good, but again, it's kind of a, almost a ropey feel to it, so it's not like really slick when some of the braids have a really slick and I don't know, uh, chalky feel to them. I have like the coloration isn't a lot of chalky coloration to it. This one doesn't have that. A lot of them, you simply run your fingers across it and they're, you know, totally turning color. This one does, but it's not really powdery. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to use a scale, which is the same scale we used in some of the other uh, reviews. And I have tested this thing out with a 20-pound dumbbell, and it's really, really close. So a 20-pound dumbbell probably has a little bit of, you know, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, change on it. It's not totally probably accurate. It's probably close to 20, but not exactly. And it came up as 19.9 pounds on here. So this thing's pretty accurate. I'm going to tie the other end off. I'll loop it around a couple of times. Uh, put a pretty nice knot on it. Uh, the way I've been knotting it and tying it around, I've been doing really well not getting the knots to fail on me much. And it's actually been breaking on the line itself instead of the knot. So let's go ahead. We'll move the computer out of the way and uh, see how this stuff stacks up. Again, most of these braids, I've been trying to test mostly the 20-pound braids to kind of keep some consistency. And uh, most of them are breaking around the 16 to 18-pound range. And I did get the one the other day, too. The last one I did, if you look at the last uh, Fish Yacker review video on there, I... Uh, we did the suffix trolling type of braid they have, and that actually worked out really well. It was actually probably a little bit above uh, what the rating was, so most of the others are a little bit below. But anyway, enough talking. Let's test this thing out. So what I've done, I've tied off again about 18 inches of braid. Turn on the uh, scale. Zeroed it out. I've got a little... Uh, camcorder here. Hopefully it'll catch the moment when it actually snaps and uh, be able to read what it is just to confirm what I'm seeing on it. Got it tied off uh, nicely. Let's uh, go ahead and do take number one. Let's see if I can do it this way. So we're looking at uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be 20 pound braid now. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, less than 15 pounds. It broke right at the beginning of the knot. So the knot didn't totally fail. It broke right at the knot, though, on there. So not bad. Uh, but yeah, and I put a pretty good knot on it, too. That's the first try there. Let's do a couple more of these, uh, see what it looks like. But right there, 14 and some change. So that one we're going to do a few more takes with it, uh, see what we can do. That one was less than 15 pounds. That's not really good. Uh, the line snapped pretty good straight through it right there just about at the knot. Uh, knot didn't really straight up totally fail though. Uh, let's try it again and see. Retied it off. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Didn't even reach fifteen pounds again. Again, broke their kind of the knot. Let's try it again. Not even breaking 15 pounds yet. So let's do take number three. I keep tying different types of knots on here to see if it changes it. Uh, but that was pretty close, I think, to what the other one was. But uh, we'll do another one here and see. This is take number three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, set. That time broke on the other end and it was 17 and some change. Right about at the knot again. Here we go. So they're not breaking on the main line like a lot of the others did. Uh, 
but the failure point keeps keeps to be keeps to keeps on being a notch. So let's do it. Uh, heck, let's do it again. There's three. That one uh, at least got a couple more pounds out of it. So let's do another little try here with it. Got this recording here. Uh, my line keeps getting shorter. But I'm still not getting nearly 20 pounds on this stuff. So now we got about six inches, six or eight inches line. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. About 19 pounds that time. Heck, let's cut some more line and try it a couple more times because uh, we got two, a couple pounds shy of what it should be, and we got a couple that were considerably less. So that time I don't know because it was a shorter strand. Let's take a look again. So I tied it off again to the dowel and to the uh, scale. Zeroed it out again. Let's see how this one works out. Six, seven, eight, no, now back down. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That time didn't reach 14 pounds, guys. I'll do one more test. Okay, we'll take one more take with it here. Uh, most of our, our breakage, again, it's 20 pound braid, uh, cast king. Most of them are probably breaking around 15 pounds or so for 20 pound test. Let's do another one. So I've zeroed it out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Right about fifteen pounds again. Not still intact. So I will tell you though with this, uh, I don't know. It's not that strong. It's not the not, not perfect. Uh, it's kind of consistent to be totally honest though. Uh, most braids I'm getting about 25% br uh, breaking point less than what they should be at. Uh, a lot of them are getting these 20 pound braids are breaking right around 15 to 18 pounds. This one's consistent probably around that 15 pound uh, mark on it. Uh, compared to a lot of the others, we've done Power Pro, uh, we've done the Suffolk Trolling Line braid, that, meter, that metered braid. Uh, that by far was the strongest. We've done a couple of the other ones, some of the, the cheaper Chinese stuff too. Uh, this is consistent with those. Uh, probably not quite as strong as the Power Pro. Uh, price point, you're looking at right at four bucks free shipping, three dollars and ninety-eight cents free shipping. I guess you really can't go wrong with that, but uh, if you're getting this stuff, don't go by the weight capacity on at least from this experience. Uh, it's not going to 20 pounds. Uh, that being said, like some people have commented with these on the videos, your drag on the reel and the, the backbone of your rod are going to add some of the shock absorbing to it. So you might not necessarily have, you know, it's not going to be right at 20 pounds, but it's going to lower it. Uh, the feel of this line, I don't know. It's a very twiny feel. I don't know if I totally like the feel as much, say, as the Specialist Power Pro. Uh, it's got a supple, nice supple feel to it. I feel like it would cast pretty well. Uh, fraying, it's not fraying. When you tie knots in a lot of cheap braids, it frays on you as you're tightening the cinch and the knot down. This is not. I do, I do like that a lot. Uh, packaging, it looks good. Uh, but again, the breaking strength and then these... I'll be honest too, they're breaking more at the knots on these. It's the same exact knots I've been tying on the other braids. Uh, and the same dowel, same scale, everything's the same. Uh, breaking more at the knots on these. Uh, that seems to be a weak point on this braid where it's cinched down. But uh, heck, for that price you can't go wrong I guess. But just, you know, I don't know. Upsize your braid a little bit more if you're using this stuff. Anywho, 
I'll get some more of these going. I got a couple more different company brands over here to test out soon. Go back, you can see some of the earlier videos we've done uh, with the Power Pro and I think Joff and a couple of other different inexpensive braids too and the uh, suffix metered stuff. Uh, this is again pretty consistent, but uh, I don't know. I like Power Pro a lot more. Anywho, don't bash me on that, guys. Anywho. But for Cast King, I know a lot of guys are big fans of it. Price point is nice. They ship it to me faster than anybody else has. But uh, breaking point's a little less than it should be, at least from my measurements here. But compared to others, it's about on spot on with everybody else. Anyway, be sure, guys, if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Click down below, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you want to see. And uh, you can also follow us, the fishacker.com channel on Facebook, or follow me at John Ose on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll catch you on the water. Fishacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.